please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. Greetings and salutations my beautiful nerds, it is I, Rachel S. How's it going? I have a lovely unbox for you from the wonderful people of Capsule Box by Nihon Box. If you've not watched my video reviews of this before, uh, this box is a monthly service where you get up to six or seven gachas of the most popular um, capsule machines in Japan. So it can range from anything from anime figures, keychains, puzzles, everyday items, you know, it can be anything random. Uh, so yeah, it's a fun box. In the UK, it's about £19 or uh, 22 euros, and it's free shipping. So it is a very, very good service. Uh, I love Nihon Box, and yeah, I love their gacha service. So I've been a fan with them for nearly a year now, and two years with Nihon Box. So yeah, can't, can't question them. They're just awesome. So anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, in this March box, uh, as far as I can remember, uh, there was Rin of the Makuma, possibly Pokemon, uh, Demon Slayer, I think, and Jujutsu Kaisen. So, fingers crossed, a great box. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, what I always do now is just layer all the gachas from smallest to largest, and we put one by one. Okay, guys, so here's all our lovely gachas. So, we have seven gachas this month, so we've been quite lucky. So, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, just double check in. So it's seven gachas. Uh, usually with Nihon Box, if you are a long time subscriber, you do get bonus items. So I got a little bonus item snack. I had this in the last box and it's like um, a fried rice treat. <laughs> it was actually really super tasty. So I'm glad I got another one of these. So thank you, Nihon Box. Uh, so yeah, if you are a subscriber, yeah, they're really great and awesome about that. So anyway, guys, let's get to the nitty gritty and see what gachas we got. So I'm going to start with this yellow gacha here so to turn so i can see the text already this is a jiu-jitsu kaisen one so fingers crossed we got a really awesome figure and a character i like uh i do love jiu-jitsu kaisen but i am crap at remembering all the names but <laughs> i wrote most of them down so i've been trying to learn them off by heart so it looks like we have a, a cable hugger series so uh we have a uh, satoro we have um which is the one I really want, Satoru. Uh, we have uh, Megami, we have Nobra, and uh, Yuji. So, yeah, really hoping I get uh, this guy, because <laughs> he's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I've watched both seasons, and, yeah, can't fault that anime. It's just so good. So let's see who we got. So, oh, I see white hair. And yes, we got the one I want. I got Satoru, my favourite teacher, who is just a bit of a dick, but... <laughs> <laughs> he's really cute <laughs> i gotta admit when i saw that scene for his eyes for the first time oh god i fell in love with those eyes so here's satoru looking all laid back and chill so you can just use them as just normal display figures or you can put them on your headphones there's a bit of a mist paint here on his arm it looks like he's had his arm bit <laughs> but with a bit of warhammer paint I, or craft paint i could fix him up i'm fairly good anyway so yeah really cool glad i got satoru so i'm just gonna put him there to chill over there so let's just see where he is on the list so it's this one here so this is from the uh hukot jujutsu kaisen series so uh nihon box loves hukot this is the latest version released in japan representing jujutsu kaisen characters hang them on your cables add some fun with four versions your eg itadori satoru gojo nobura kasegi or megami fushiko so <laughs> yes i did get most of the names right so that was cool so yay glad i got jujutsu kaisen figure that's my third figure from my anime now so i'm starting to get a good collection and i might possibly have a big figure in one of my neon boxes coming up so fingers crossed guys I'll, I'll look forward to seeing what i got right let's go on to our next capsule so it's a lovely nice pastel pink so uh, you can see some doggos in here so it looks like we've got an animal capsule and oh my god i just saw the, the figure it looks so cute so let's just have a look at the pamphlet so it looks like they're all little, I think they're Pomeranian dogs. Uh, we had some from this series in the last box I did from the um, the Sheba Band series. So this is from the same sort of series and company. So we have uh, two variations of each figure. So it's like a dog being blown by the wind, <laughs> blown in, around in the wind. Uh, we have two dogs with fat neck rolls. Uh, we have one just sat down. I think he's got his paw in a cup. 
one stuck in a box, one dressed in a teddy bear outfit, and one begging, but even though he's got a massive pork chop in front of his face. <laughs> so this series looks really super cute. So I'm just going to pop the rubbish away. And cha -ching. Ah, So this is the figure we got. So I'm just going to take him out of his bag. And this looks so cute. My mother and all will probably try and steal this off me because she loves dogs. So this is really cute. He's in like a little hoodie, but I'm not sure if he's meant to be like a meant to have arms. Oh, I see. He's meant to look like he's got arms on his size. I thought they were meant to be wings or something. But yeah, it's quite cute. I love how they've done the um the shading on the figure from like the tan to the white gradient. That's really cool. So I'm just showing you the dog butt, but <laughs> at least he ain't got a butthole like those weird plushies do. He's got a cute little face. A shame about the mold mark on his cheeks, but He's got a cute little sort of sleepy, um, I'm going to bed face. <laughs> but yeah, kind of cute. I like it. So that'll stay with my collection. Uh, so this is from the uh, Animal Attraction Pomeranian Walk series. So moving on to the fun and Carly Park with those mini Pomeranian figures equipped for a walk. So wacky, adorably cute at the same time and get... Uh, eight available versions so yay really cool i like that because i just love the colors the pink and the tan they just go together so well so that's really cute right let's go to this one i'd be really curious about this because i can see a lot of parts in here so uh i might have to pause it and put it together but i'm just going to pop it open and see the pamphlet to see what it actually is it looks like an umbrella i think so oh wow this is a big pamphlet oh yeah so they are all parasols so i'm not sure what the one in 12 means i don't know but there's all colors i think i got the green one but i love the red uh actually i love all of them to be honest these look great with nendroids i know i see a lot of miniatures go with nendroids but uh, i can't help it or figmas as well actually so yeah these are all really cute and uh i want them all <laughs> uh so i'm just gonna put the one i got together because it looks like it needs it's in about sort of 10 parts so just bear with me Okay guys, so here's our little parasol. So it was a bit fiddly to put together. I would recommend if you do get these, uh, you might want to use some super glue as it doesn't stay in this part is a little bit loose so it does fall off if you move it around a lot but this would look super cool on a figma uh so i might have to try and do some poses with my Dragon Ball figures on this so yeah it's uh really cool this key this green bit came in three pieces and then i'll see these but pin it together so as you can see it does um wobble around a little bit but i really like this this is like the really cool cocktail umbrella i've always wanted because i was fascinated by cocktail umbrellas when i was little because i always like putting them with my barbie dolls but they just broke so easy right so anyway let's go on to our fourth capsule so it's a nice green capsule and i hear some rattling so i think i've got a keychain in here so fingers crossed it's an anime i know so let's have a look i can open it so oh okay so this is the character so i don't know what this is from oh um it's from tokyo avengers i've actually just started watching this series i'm on episode six at the minute so um this might be a character that hasn't appeared in the series yet so <laughs> i might keep it in case i like the character because um yeah if you haven't watched tokyo avengers it's really good it's basically about this guy who was a, a bit of a delinquent back in his day and um he finds out that his first love gets killed by uh, one of the gangs he was part of and he finds this ability that he can go back in time so sorry i just heard a really random noise then so he goes uh, has the ability to go back in time and he meets his girlfriend's brother and they form a bond to protect his sister and that gives him the ability to go forwards and backwards in time in order to control what happens so it's really cool so if you like your gritty anime with a little bit of uh, science fiction time travel it's really cool and i really recommend it so these are all the characters we can get so this is the brother, the police guy. <laughs> uh, I haven't met him yet. I haven't come across him yet. Uh, they, this is one of the major gang leaders, and this is his sort of um, bodyguard. And this is the main protagonist in his young version before he dyes his hair black when he's older. So really hope I can get these three, because these three are really super cool guys. So I'm guessing these guys will appear uh, later on in the next few episodes I watch. So yeah, uh, so this is the uh, promo image for it. So yeah, the art for it is really cool in the manga. So um, yeah, rec uh, recommend it. There are um, censored and uncensored versions, just a heads up, because uh, of all the fighting and the blood and gore, but nothing too bad so yeah that's cool i don't know who he is yet but hopefully i'll find out soon so he can 
just chill out there under the parasol looking badass <laughs> so yeah really cool so let's just refer to this so uh this is from the uh tokyo revengers rubber mascot series so uh the manga tokyo revengers was a huge success and the anime adaptation is coming in 2021 wow actually it came up last month actually uh on this occasion a lot of goodies are getting released like these keychains representing the manga's main characters so yeah i really hope to get this guy because i'm actually starting to like him he's really cool and uh yeah he has a lot of guts and wants to protect his girlfriend so i respect him out like that so anyway let's carry on because this is getting a long video so next up we have Dijang ah <laughs> we have a rilla makuma so i think this is one of these weird mystery figures so i'm just gonna open it up and put it together okay so here's our figure all put together it wasn't as fit as i thought it was it was luckily only in about four parts so here's our cute little figure so he's got a mini version of himself in his sort of little pantaloon pocket so this is actually really cute uh i'm not the biggest really makuma fan but this figure is just like really growing on me now because it reminds me of a lot of like traditional 90s teddy bears so uh this is from the uh really makuma chap chap kara series uh so your heart will mount with these sitting figures of Rilla Makuma and his friends get either Rilla Makuma, Kiratori, Korilakuma or Rilakuma with ch oh these are hard to pronounce names Charlie Charlie Lokaguma. Okay, I'll have to look at the pamphlet. Those names are really hard to pronounce. It rolls off the tongue better in Japanese, I guess, but not so much easy to pronounce here. So these are all the different figures we can get. Um, I'm not so keen on the bird, uh, but yeah, this one's definitely my favourite out of the series. So yeah, they're just like meant to be little death buddy figures. So yeah, they're still really cute, and um, I'll be keeping this one because yeah, it's it's just so adorable. Right, let's carry on. So I'm going to go on to this next scatcher and i can already tell who's in it already with that kimono pattern and yet yeah, it's demon slayer so um yeah i'm definitely glad to get another demon slayer item because uh the movie is finally coming out to the uk next week and i'll definitely be going to see that uh technically i have watched it but i want to see it on the big screen for myself just to get that experience and uh yeah just to appreciate it more and you know actually pay the guys who made it because i was actually leaked it by a friend and I, I feel bad for watching it but i was desperate to see it um because i wasn't sure if they were actually going to have it in the uk or not but i'm glad they are now so it doesn't tell you which ones they are but um from what i'm guessing it's probably the same lineup uh netsuko tanjiro nosuke uh shinobu and giru i'm probably guessing but i'll find out so <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty cute oh this is so soft it's a little squishy netsuko ball and they got all of them on the details of a kimono and a belt look at her little hands <laughs> these are so cute i i was a bit of a fan of sunsun but i'm more of a fan of these ones now because oh, the material is really nice it's nice and easy to wash and it's not very static -y, but I don't like static -y fabrics, but this is super cute. I love this. And Netsuko is my favourite girl character, to be fair. So, uh, Shinobu's a close second, and I have been umming and ahhing of cosplaying her recently. So, uh, this is from the uh, Kimitsu no Yaiba Minamuni Marshmallow Mascot series. I can call it, see why they call them marshmallows. Uh, so here are the mini plushies of Demon Slayer characters. We can't resist the cuteness of our favourite characters. Tanjiro, Netsuko, Zenitsu, Inosuke and Giru. Ah, oh, I forgot about Inosuke. How can I forget about my boy Inosuke? I'm glad I got um, uh, Netsuko-chan, but I'm going to have to get Inosuke next because I want to start doing a um, Inosuke eater bag. <laughs> so it will definitely fit in well because I've got quite a few figures of him now. Anyway, guys, we're down to our last gacha because this video is starting to get a bit long now. So it's a Poipo gacha. So let's see who we got in it. It looks like we have a figure. So hopefully uh, from an uh, anime I know of. So, oh, this is in a lot of figures in pieces. So let's see the pamphlet. Oh, I can see who this is from. Uh, this is from Eurocamp. Uh, I actually watched season one. I watched about halfway through and then I kind of stopped because I was watching another a few more animes so i need to give this another watch actually so i can't remember these girls names so i apologize but i know this is the main girl i've got a figure of her and the rest of the uh camp crew so these are actually really super cute uh i've got a few figures like this from uh my hero and um uh jujitsu kaisen somewhere but <laughs> i love the style of these so yeah once again i'm gonna have to pause and put this figure together Okay, so here's our figure. Unfortunately, she had a bit of an accident. Uh, one of her little pigtails fell off when I was trying to uh, 
pry the bag open. Unfortunately, it snagged and it snapped her ponytail off, so I'm going to have to glue it back on. Unfortunately, I can't remember this character's name because it was quite some time since I've watched it, but she's really cute nonetheless, and I'll definitely be keeping this figure. So, yeah, um, if you haven't watched Eurocamp, uh, it's a really nice slice of life anime, and basically it's about a girl who meets another girl who's in a camping club, and they sort of develop over their love of um, camping and then they find out there's a camp club in school and yeah basically it's them going to different regions in Japan um, yeah that are actually real <laughs> actual camping sites um, to promote tourism and uh, yeah it's a really great anime story my figure just fell on the floor and I bumped into my tripod but yeah watch your account it's a real nice simple anime to watch if you want to relax so anyway uh, this is from the uh, Pocket Maquette Eurocamp uh, volume 1 uh, so meet the characters of the very popular the anime Eurocamp in small figures from Good Smile. Uh, you can make them sit or stand thanks to the provided parts. So yeah, basically I've got her standing obviously at the minute and uh, you can swap the little base here and uh, you can make them sit down. So yeah, it's a cool feature on the figure and my camera is being a bitch and I hate it when it doesn't focus. So yeah, that's a really cool figure. So guys, that was everything in the March capsule box. So this was a really great one this month. So just to recap, we had the, when my camera decides to focus, Jujutsu Kaisen uh, cable figure. We had the Pomeranian figure, if I stop dropping everything. Uh, we had the really cool traditional parasol. The Tokyo Revengers keychain. Don't know the dude, but hopefully I will. So yeah, really cool. Focus camera. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we had the really cute Rilla Makuma figure, the adorable Marshmallow Netsuko figure, uh, well, plushy, I should say, and despite breaking, the really cute Eurocamp figure. So, yeah, very happy with this month's box, guys. Um, if you want to subscribe to them, I highly recommend it. If you love little figures and everything anime or just something random. So, anyway, guys, I need to go and get a drink because it's really muggy in here and the rain is horrible. So, until my next manga, box, or figure review, today I'm going to say sayonara, stay nerdy, stay happy, and wear a mask and keep safe, my peeps.